Hello, my name is Rocco and I'm the founder and the creator of Romantic Tour Amsterdam. Now today we are visiting the Westerpark. Amsterdam has many, many parks. Um, we find it really important to have a lot of nature in our city. So in total we have about 1.2 million trees in Amsterdam. And many of those trees are actually in the parks. This allows us to go out on a sunny day like today, to go sprint and jog and explore the city in the parks. And that's really what people like. It gives a wonderful balance uh, next to, of course, all the, you know, busy city life. In the Netherlands, we're famous for having a good balance uh, between work and life, uh, work and private time. We find that very, very important. So the Vessel Park is a great park and quite a special park. Now, why is that? Uh, it's a very new park. It was actually uh, developed in 2003, so not so long ago, less than 20 years ago. And this was a, a, a place where there was a, a factory. It was out of the city, so there was a big factory here, the Wester Gasfabriek. And uh, in 2000, they decided to renovate it into a park and became for, uh, for the people of Amsterdam. And they did a great job. It is a real mixture between industry and nature. And it has so many different sides. I would say it's the park with the most variety. So it has, yeah, um, you know, uh, uh, places where there's lots of industry, uh, buildings, houses, uh, big grass fields, wild areas, uh, farmers. Uh, there's a, even a, a, you know, little children's farm. So it has a real wide range of different uh, aspects of the city. And that's something that I really, really love about this park. It's sunset now, the sun is slowly going down, you get this really beautiful light. And behind me, just on the side of the Westerbark, you can see a windmill. There's actually uh, someone living there, so you cannot visit this windmill, but it's a great place to take some pictures, especially in spring. They originate from uh, Iran, and uh, they actually came to the Netherlands, and how they were used in the Netherlands was uh, really unique. Uh, the windmills were used to uh, pump out the water. So um, that's why we, had, uh, we have several, lots of windmills here in Amsterdam. And the blades are turning around to pump up the water. So that's what is uh, very unique about the Netherlands. Uh, one third of the country is below sea level. The water uh, you see behind me used to be um, a, a sort of a canal that was built from Amsterdam to Haarlem. And Haarlem was a much older city than Amsterdam and they had a treksluit. That was a way to pull a boat with horses all the way to, um, to Haarlem and between Haarlem and Amsterdam. So that was a sort of public transport you could say. Now um, that all changed over time. Uh, they actually built one of the first train sh stations here in the middle of the park so from uh, more than 150 years ago so from now from the Wester Park yeah just outside of the corners of Amsterdam all the way down to Harlem you could uh, take a train uh, pretty extraordinary it's also one of the longest parks in Amsterdam so you can really uh, cycle through the entire park which gives us a great uh, aspect so a special park, check it out. They do lots of festivities here, lots of festival. So that might be a great way to, uh, to visit this park. So I highly recommend you to check this park out. Take a little picnic basket with your lover and just sit by the water, uh, watching the ducks so cycle through the park and explore the other ones. So I hope uh, this was uh, useful. It was a real pleasure to uh, share with you um, this park today. I, uh, I hope you like it. You look at this beautiful uh, back view behind me. And um, yeah, I hope to see you in Amsterdam. And check our website out. We write lots of blogs with interesting content. Lots of more videos are coming up and we made a few already. So check it out and of course, uh, like and subscribe uh, so you support me uh, uh, in this business. So appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a lovely, lovely visit to Amsterdam if you're coming. Bye bye.